Since March 25, 2017, the Sakurajima volcano in southern Kyushu within Japan has been continuously erupting. Its eruptions have largely consisted of a series of so-called volcanian explosions where a small plug of lava or volcanic material is cleared once every few hours, generating a large explosion and on occasion pyroclastic flows. Generally speaking, 100 to 1,000 of these explosions occur each year, so Sakurajima is mostly kept at an alert level of 3 on a 1 to 5 scale. This carries with it a 2 km exclusion zone, as this radius well represents the typical maximum distance bombs of lava and boulders of rock thrown by explosions can travel, along with occasional pyroclastic flows. However, on July 24th, something changed. At 8.05pm local time, Sakurajima produced a powerful explosion, sending a plume of ash to a height of 3,000 meters or 9,842 feet. More importantly, this explosion was unusually powerful, causing large chunks of rock which were up to the size of boulders to fall up to 2,500 meters distant. Since a number of people live within or very close to this radius, and the threat of a far more powerful explosion exists, Sakurajima's alert level was raised from 3 to 5. This was the first time Sakurajima's alert level had been raised to the maximum level since the current Japan volcano rating system was implemented. Scientists immediately ordered evacuations for residents within 3 kilometers of the currently erupting Minami Daki and secondary Showa summit craters. This meant that several areas of dense structures were evacuated, including parts of Erimura and Furusato towns. In addition, residents in the densely populated city of Kagoshima City and Kagoshima Prefecture were advised to remain cautious, as both areas could be affected by falling volcanic ejecta if an even larger explosion does occur. For context, the Sakurajima volcano is located in southern Japan in south-central Kyushu. It completely formed in the last 13,000 years, constructing two separate peaks. While the northern Kitadake cone last erupted 4,850 years ago, the southern Minami Dake and adjacent Showa craters have since been the site of recent activity. Zooming out, you might note that the Sakurajima volcano is located within a circular ridge in the northern part of Kagoshimo Bay. This is not a coincidence, as the northern part of the bay represents the outline of two large calderas. The larger of these calderas is 19 kilometers wide and formed in a super eruption which occurred 29,000 years ago. That eruption covered much of the island of Kyushu in a thick layer of ash and pyroclastic flow deposits, causing its underlying magma chamber to be largely drained. This caused overlying rock to collapse downwards like a sinkhole, forming a massive caldera. In total, that ancient eruption ejected 400 cubic kilometers of volcanic rock, which is around 40 to 60 times larger than the January 2022 eruption of Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai. Thus, since Sakurajima is merely the youngest cone of the broader Iroh caldera, it can accurately be described as a supervolcano which happens to be erupting. It just so happens that its eruptions are generally quite small and is unlikely to collapse into another caldera anytime soon. However, Sakurajima does not need to produce a super eruption to be potentially deadly. As one of the most dangerous volcanoes on the planet, all that is needed is an unusually energetic explosion that throws car-sized rocks several kilometers away into a major city. Today's earlier explosion represented the first time that large blocks of material were thrown beyond 2,500 meters from the active vent in the 21st century. On prior occasions, such as on November 29th of 2013 or on June 4th of 2020, smaller cinders were thrown to even greater distances, but these were unlikely to destroy any buildings. In the next several hours to days, two things could happen. It is quite possible that this explosion was a one-off event, fed by an unusually gas-rich batch of magma, which means that the volcano will return to its typical lesser level of intensity. Or, more similarly energetic explosions will occur, potentially placing thousands of people at risk. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Celine Bernard for supporting this channel.